Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through remote backup system. So basically backup, what is backup guys? Saving your files or your personal data or your records in some particular safe place, like the second copy, fine? Okay, so remote backup system provides a high degree of availability, allowing transaction processes to continue even if the primary side is destroyed by fire, flood or earthquake. So here we will be connecting our system to the internet or any kind of network like LAN or anything and we will be connecting one more device so that whenever there is any requirement of transaction or anything, if our device crashes, our primary device crashes, the server or the particular other device acts as our device and it gives the result or it gives the response. So remote devices can be offline or real time or online in case of offline it is maintained manually so a particular guy should take care of it guys okay so if you consider the backup here so this will be your primary system network and backup so this is nothing but another system whenever your system crashes this system will be active and it serves the requirements so online backup systems are more real time and life savers of database so basically if you assume that the best example for this will be your websites guys so basically let us take a small example of Amazon. So basically do you think that Amazon is served or hosted on a single hosting site or host provider? No, it is. it will be provided at per, per multiple locations. Like there could be a server in Austria, in Asia, one in USA, one in UK like that. There will be multiple servers. So according to your location, it will be accessing the data which is near, near to it and where the traffic is low. That is nothing but the minimum use, the maximum users are low. So it will be directing in that way. Like even there could be two or more locations at which it is stored like IP addresses. If one fails, it will redirect it, redirect us to the other. So this is nothing but our remote storage like the concept guys. So as soon as the primary database storage fails, yeah, that's what I told. The backup system senses the failure and switches the user system to remote storage. Sometimes the user will not even identify this thing guys. So he cannot even identify the difference between those two things. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in this chapter, we have covered the lock and deadlocks, lock mechanisms or concurrent concurrency control mechanisms or protocols. And we also covered and we also covered about transactions and we covered many things about the deadlocks. And we also covered about this paging areas and the lock tables, recovery methods. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the review of this chapter and we'll be going through some important questions, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.